Hey everyone. It's been a long time since I did any sort of video. So, um, you know, I apologize if any of this seems unnatural or, or, or off maybe, but, uh, I wanted to get back to doing some video, hopefully regularly here, um, as a way of well, sharing and, uh, and also putting myself out there. Um, anyway, I wanted to come at you a little bit about the topic of anxiety today. It's a big focus in my work with people. Anxiety um, has been for years. It's something that I struggled with for a long time. And, you know, there's a lot of components to it. But essentially, you know, most people that experience it uh, really want to be free of it. It can be incredibly debilitating, you know, when you look at things like panic attacks and so forth. Or it can be mildly irritating you know it can be very like a very low level um, form of anxiety as well and there's a lot of wonderful modalities out there to help people manage it to work with it you know to create some space around it even um, and a lot of people who come to me have already done some work around it and they all agree and this was my experience as well that no matter how well you manage it, the anxiety is still kind of there. And sometimes, you know, it'll come up uh, in a really big way. You know, it become a full-blown panic attack. But underneath, when we really look, we realize, oh, this anxiety is still kind of here. And one of the reasons it's there, because managing is, is a wonderful, powerful first step for a lot of people. And I'm all for that and all the methodologies behind that. But one of the reasons I find that um, for myself and a lot of people I've worked with that the anxiety remained or that was still, you know, could still be triggered is because there's a common mm, misper mis misperception, a common notion that we want to try to change the anxiety, that we want to do something to get rid of it. You know, it's certainly natural to want to get rid of it, but it's a mistaken notion. And here's why. So as much as, you know, things like positive thinking, visualization, a lot of things, even breathing techniques, uh, which I'm all for, are very, very necessary. There is a drawback to them all. Whatever methodology you want to use. And the drawback is that it's not acknowledging a part of us that's already, th that's there. It's denying this part of us that's actually anxious. So in other words, it gets suppressed. And one of the best um, methods of learning to actually heal the anxiety, of, you know, um, of overcoming it, is to learn how to make friends with it. And we do that very simply. You can do that right now if you have any kind of anxiety. Uh, one of the first things I ask people when they feel anxious and they come to a session, um, I'll ask them, where do you feel it? The anxiety, where in your body do you feel it? And they'll typically say, I, I, I don't know. You know, I just feel anxious. I feel it everywhere. And they just wanna stop feeling. Now, what actually happens is really simply that the emotion has become more of a reactive emotion and taken the person over. So the first step towards actual freedom, not just managing, but healing the anxiety, and you can try this, this is what I'm going to leave you with, is to ask yourself two questions. You might know it's anxiety, you might not, but you can practice this throughout the day. You can say, number one, what am I feeling? What am I actually feeling right now? Sometimes you'll be surprised. It's not actually anxiety itself. It'll be something else. So what am I feeling? And number two, where in my body is it? You'll feel as a hint, you'll feel uh, what I would say are symptoms or manifestations of the anxiety throughout your body. Tension, tension headaches, um, whatever, restlessness, etc. You'll feel maybe a lump in your throat. But I find the emotion, the source of the emotion tends to live in the torso. So usually in the heart, solar plexus or gut area. Sometimes all three, sometimes it radiates out. It's going to be different every time.
But the task is then to, to ask that question, what am I feeling and where is it in my body? So we might notice some tension in our legs, let's say, or some restlessness, but then we say, okay, what is, what's happening in my chest? What's happening in my belly? If we can do that, then it allows us, it helps us develop what, what I call, a, what's called a felt sense or helps us inhabit the body, which means we become more and more present. And the more we do that, the more free we are from the reaction. So it doesn't overtake us anymore. And that, that is actually the first step, my opinion, my experience, to going deep enough to really to actually truly heal the anxiety. There's more to it than that, but you know, without taking up too much time, is I just want to share one little piece with you today that I find so, so important. Uh, instead of trying to get rid of it, what if we actually just feel it? So in other words, we don't react, it doesn't become reactive, but we practice feeling the physical sensation, the visceral sensation in our body of the anxiety. So we say, or whatever other emotion might be. So we say, where, what am I feeling and where in my body is it? And we might not notice several things. So with that, you guys, um, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I just wanted to share a little insight there that seemed to be rather eye-opening for a few people this week. Um, and if there's anything, if you are experiencing anxiety, first off, you know, I'm, I'm very sorry that's the case. If you'd like some help with it, I'd be happy to help as well. So with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.